Okay, so if you're a barber, stylist, nail tech, uh, esthetician, school owner, entrepreneur, then this class is for you. If you want to know how to attract more customers, more students, if you have a business, we all want more customers. So that's what we're going to cover today. You definitely want to sit in on this and you want to take a lot of notes because I'm going to be sharing a lot of things. Some of the things are common sense but not common practice. And then some of the things you probably never thought of. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we wanna do, we're gonna talk about some guerrilla marketing and we're gonna talk about some digital marketing. But first we're gonna start out with guerrilla marketing. Now guerrilla marketing is basically old school marketing, how we marketed before there was social media, uh, before we had all of this technology and that still works to this day. So one thing I want you all to do, think about uh, postcards, business cards. So everybody can say postcards, business cards. So I'm going to share a contact uh, with you all with those business cards and postcards. And I'll share a story with you all before I do that. A lot of people want to know, well, how did you get students? How did you get customers? I'm going to share that right now. Now, this was back in 1998, and it still works today because I have quite a few school owners, quite a few business owners that utilize these tactics that I'm ready to share with you. So I'm going to share some things that Ms. Velma shared with me. And really, if I had not uh, done those things, I wouldn't be where I am today. My school probably would have shut down because if you don't have students, if you don't have clients, your business is going to shut down. If you are not a school and you're a business and you don't have clients or customers, your business is going to shut down. So you need those. How do we get those? Okay. So now we're, since we have the school owners, I'm going to talk a lot about that. How we can attract more customers and students. So what I did, there's a company called Jack Prince, and I'm going to share that with you right now. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Now, this is Jack Prince. I'm going to put this in the chat, too, so you all can have access to this link. All right. Now, there's the link right there to Jack Prince. Now, what I like about Jack Prince, you can print 5,000 business cards, front and back, full color for $100. I'm going to repeat that. They will print 5,000 business cards front and back for $100. Also, they will print 5,000 postcards front and back for $200. You can't beat that. Now, the next thing, what are we going to do when we get these cards? That's the next question. You're going to have to get busy. So step one, when you get these cards, go to every last barbershop, beauty shop, nail salon, day spa, esthetician place in your city. Give them some cards. Let them know. If you refer a student, to my school and they enroll, I'm going to give you a $100 bill. Have that $100 bill show it to them. I'm going to give you a $100 bill for every student that you refer, okay? Now, why would you do that? Because every barber, stylist, nail tech, esthetician, beauty professional out there, they service clients daily and those clients either want to go to school or they know somebody that wants to go to school. They got a family member or a friend or whatever that wants to go to school. And they will tell the barber, stylist, they'll take esthetician. They will tell them when they sit in the chair, they gossip, they turn around and talk to them and tell them everything. So now when a student enrolls from that referral, drive over to that shop pull out that $100 bill and thank them and do it in front of all the other barber stylists, nail techs, estheticians. The next thing that we're going to do, 
and let them know also um, that they can come and speak at your school. Invite them in as a guest speaker to teach or whatever. They may need some barbers, stylists, nail techs, estheticians or whatever to work in their business. All right. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Walmart. We're going to go to the dollar store. Okay. All of the little low income places where a lot of people shop, where there's a lot of high traffic. We're going to contact the cashier, somebody that's working in there. There's not getting a lot of attention. You want to offer them a free service. Why would you offer the Walmart cashier or the person at Waffle House, the, the waiter, or the bartender at this restaurant, why would you give them a free service and you service them? Because they are in front of a lot of people, okay? If you do their hair, their nails, or whatever it is that you do, people are going to notice it. And if they say, oh, hey, Coco, uh, I like your hair. Well, Zandra, I like your hair. Well, who, who did your hair? Guess what? They will have some cards, and they can give it to them, or they can tell them who did it, all right? The next thing, what you want to do, your church, even if you don't go to church, find a church, become involved, give out those cards. You want to find the ugliest person in your church, okay? With the most messed up in this, I don't even know if that's a word, hairdo or nails or whatever. You want to give them a total makeover. You want to turn that frog into a princess. You want to turn that frog into a prince. And you want to give them those business cards. And when people ask, who did your service, your hair, whatever, they're going to give them that card. Okay? When you go to these places, you may see a janitor, somebody that's not getting a lot of attention. Give them a free service. Okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to hit all of the daycare centers where they're children. You're going to offer them free services. Give them some free haircut cards or free shampoo and wash, whatever. Whatever service it is, that's not going to take you a lot of time. We're not going to give them a relaxer, color, cut, and all that for free. Give them a service that's short, sweet, and simple. Okay, now the makeovers, you want to put a lot of time into that because if you take the ugliest person and make them look good, people are going to notice that. Okay, so that's something that you want to think about. Now, a lot of people don't want to deal with kids, but I'm telling you, I targeted kids because a lot of the barbers, they didn't want to deal with the kids. I targeted the special needs people. I targeted the elderly. You also want to go to the retirement homes, the old folks' homes, whatever you want to call them, give out your cards. And you want to give out some free services where they come to the school, okay? I gave out thousands of free haircut cards. Why did I do that? Because my mentor, Ms. Velma, who was doing over a million a month, told me. Now, some people are going to tell you, oh, I wouldn't give out no free services or whatever. I'm going to share this with you all. In 1998, when I opened my school, I was broke. And when I say I was broke, I didn't have any money saved and I did not have any money in the bank when I opened my school. I know a lot of people are gonna tell you, you need to have a six month day rainy day fund and all of that type of stuff. I had a God day rainy day fund. My faith was in God. Now I'm not encouraging any of you all to do what I did, but I'm just sharing with you what I did. So by me giving, Luke 6 and 38, a biblical principle, give and shall be given unto you, press down, shake together, run it over. So I gave out all those free haircuts. Give out as many free services as you can. And when they come to your business, it's a numbers game, okay? If you give out 100, you may get five to come. 
that's okay. You may say, well, darn, that wasn't nothing. Okay, well, give out 200 and get 10 people. You may give out 100 and get one to come. So what? Give out 200. Now you got two. Give out 1,000. Now you got 10. Okay? And keep doing that over and over and over. And when they come to your business, your school, they're going to sign in. Their name and phone number. And what you're going to do, when those people patronize your business, you're going to do what all the other beauty professionals are not doing. They're not showing love. People remember how you make them feel. That's what they remember. How did this person make me feel? If someone comes to my house, I want them to feel like a million dollars. I want them to feel like it's their house. I want them to feel like they own the house. When they patronized my business, it was a free service. I would get on the phone and I called each one of them. That's what I did. Thank you, Chris, Clyde, Cora. Yeah, I just want to thank you, Courtney, Ebony, for coming in, uh, Jason, for bringing your son, Javonda, uh, Keisha, Keith, yeah, Luan, I just want to thank you for bringing uh, JoJo in, uh, Lisa, Mark, uh, Marilyn, Miguel, Ms. Woods, Coco. Yeah, I just want to thank you for bringing them in. Uh, Nene, I just I appreciate you bringing them in. Nevis, uh, I appreciate you bringing your children in. Paige, uh, Pierre, I just want to thank you for bringing in, for patronizing my business. Uh, Shana, uh, Shatara, thank you for bringing them in. Savina, I just want to thank you and Dennis for bringing in those kids. Uh, Shantavia, I just wanted to thank you. Unique, thank you. Venice, thank you for bringing them in. Zandra, I, I want to thank you. I don't care if they brought some little bad kids in or whatever. You call them and thank them. Make sure you go to Sam's Wholesale or Costco or somewhere. Get a big old box of peanut M&Ms or Doritos, Skittles, whatever it is that you know the kids like. When they come in and get that free service, turn around, look at their parent or whoever that brought them. Can little Sammy have this candy bar? Pick out which one you want. Now, what happens? Because I didn't have no clients. It was a ghost town in my school. Yes, it was. But when I gave out all of those free haircuts and I started practicing that principle, calling. And guys, I'm going to share something with you. Go to the grocery stores. I will go to Kroger's, Walmart, Target, scope out the women that are not, that are hard on the eyes, okay? No, don't be approaching no woman that looks like Courtney, Cora, no. Don't, don't approach them. Ebony, people like that, if they look like Javonda, her mom, and Keisha, do not approach them. They're off limits, okay? Lawan, do, no, do not, don't approach. Nobody look like Lawan, Elisa, they named the star with an L. Do not approach any of the, Miss Woods, Coco. If you see a woman that looks like Nene or any of them, guys, they're off limits. Don't approach them. Paige, all them, no, Shayna, Chantel, don't approach nobody that look like them. Shantay, Sylvina, all them, if they look like them, don't waste your time. If they look like Unique, Venice, Zandra, guys, don't even approach them. Don't even waste that business card. We're going to approach people that look like Shanae okay? We're going to approach people that look like Gertrude McClain and Odessa Watkins, all right? The ones that get no attention, they kind of hard on the eyes, feet kind of ashy, toes ain't done, or whatever, all right? They may walk with a little limp or whatever. Go up to them guys, but first spray a lot of cologne on the card. And you go up, hey, how you doing? Your nails look nice. Yeah, because you know, a lot of times they may have, you can find something nice on Gertrude McLean. I don't care if her wig is cocked to the side. Oh, your wig looks nice. And smile, guys, and give them that card. That's what you do with a big smile. Compliment them. I don't care if they got some little baby kids. You compliment, oh, she's so sweet. You know how that girl, oh, he's so cute. Oh, ooh, they ugly. Give them a card, smile, invite them to your business. Make sure it's free. Guys, if you can use the razor, spray that cologne on that card, give it to that woman that's not easy on the eyes, smile, tell her to come get her free eyebrow arch. 
when she comes, she's going to come. Yeah, because she ain't getting no attention. Yeah, she's going to come. And then when you get in the chair, compliment her, have that cologne right here. That's what I used to have. And every time you swipe and do all that, get you a little hot rag, a hot towel, wipe their face, do all of that. And guess what? They look up at me. You know, I'm going to bring my little boys down here. Guess what? That turns into money. Now, what happened? My clinic floor blew up. I started doing more services on the clinic floor. My clinic floor was covering all my bills in two weeks. Two weeks. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday was humping, was bumping. Why was it? Because I gave out those free services. Now, ladies, you want to hit all the mechanic shops with the Santa Claus bellies and he got dirt on his nails and, and his fingers and the oil and stuff. He ain't had a haircut and a shave in probably 10 years. Those are the dudes that you want to target. Do not target men that look like Jason or Chris or Clyde, okay? Don't do that. They're off limits. Or Keith, now you, or Mark. Now, if you see somebody look like me with a big old fat head and a shiny, approach somebody that looks like me because I ain't getting no, no compliments or nothing. So you give me that car, I'm coming. Approach them, get them a good shampoo. If you got to put them boobs on them or whatever, do what you got to do. Have your perfume on, okay? Trim his little beard or whatever. If you don't do hair, I don't care. Still get him down there and shampoo him, play with his face, rub it, whatever, give him a facial. Those people are coming. And guess what? Every time I did those services for the women, and every time the women did those services for the men, they got a tip. Now, what I'm sharing with you, I'm sharing with you tried and true marketing tactics that worked for me back then, and they work still today. As pretty as you all are, I'm going to tell you something. Sex sells. Now, I'm not telling you how sex do all that. No, 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 no. What I mean by that, corporate America, these billion-dollar companies, they know that sex sells. Pretty sells. Okay? It does. So now, now that we got those people, even in the church, ladies, you find the most unattractive men. Give them that card. They're coming to you. If, if you give it to the attractive ones and all that, they're going to throw it in the garbage can. They ain't studying that. So that's how we're going to get them. And we talked about the kids because the kids are your future. We're going to go to the retirement homes. We, we've talked about that. Also, special needs. We want to hit them up. And what happened, they started bringing buses, the little vans with the old people and the special needs to the school and they were paying. Another thing you wanna do, we gotta start doing public service. See, a lot of y'all don't wanna do nothing for free. My barber schools, we would go out and cut the homeless. We'd go to different churches. Anytime there was an event that we could get out and give the community free services, we did that. And what happened? You cannot be God's given. See, Galatians 6, 7, be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sow, that shall he reap. It's the law of reaping and sowing. See, whatever you sow is coming back. All right, now, another thing that we're going to talk about, these churches, most pastors, not all pastors, but a lot of pastors love themselves. They love the attention. Some have an ego or whatever. Well, we're going to, we're going to rub that ego. So what you're going to do, you're going to offer a scholarship in the pastor's name for one student to come to your school for free. And what they're going to do on one Sunday, they're going to invite you up. You have your finest on and everything and present the student, that person at their church, that scholarship in the pastor's name. It's going to make him look good. He's going to feel good. And what's going to happen? Oh, I ain't giving out no free scholarship for a student in no church. Guess what? The whole church is looking. And guess what you're going to get from that? God is going to send some paying students to your school. Plus, 
you're going to offer free services or discount services to people in the church. And you're going to whisper their pastors there, look, for every member to come get their hair done or whatever, I'm going to give you 10%. I'm going to donate it back to, to the church, but I'm going to give it to you in your hands and you can give it to the church or you can go get you another Cadillac or, or whatever. That's what you're going to do, okay? Now, if you hit a couple of churches on that, that's going to help. Next, we're going to get a press release, all right? We're going to take that press release. And if you're a beauty school, get it in the first lady, okay? Put a, put a scholarship in the first lady's name, too. You, you could do one. If it's a barber school, you may want to do it for the pastor. Don't leave the first lady out. Now, also contact the church and let them know you want to give free services to all the kids or to all the elders or whatever. It's about giving. See, what you want to do is plant them seeds. A lot of y'all want to pick fruit before you planted the seeds and till the ground. It's not time to pick fruit. You, you want to reap before you done sow. You want something for nothing. No. Mm-mm. All right. Now, you know how when you go to Walmart and they got that crazy, when you go to Walmart, you got to be looking. You have to be cognizant. And I don't even know how to spell that word. I just know it's a big word, meaning you got to be aware of your surroundings. You must be aware of your surroundings. So when you go in Walmart, you want to go in there looking. You, you want to be looking. You want to find that cashier. You want to find that crazy cashier with all that makeup on where she done scribbity scrabbity that makeup because she got, you know, all kinds of issues going on and no medication or whatever. And she done drew them eyebrows on and, and look like a clown in the face with the makeup. That's the register that you want to go down. And when you go down that register, you look her in the eye. And I know it's not good to lie, but sometimes you got to lie. Your makeup looks good. Who did your makeup? They're going to smile. And I promise you, they're going to tell you, I did it. We know you did it. Give them a stack of cards. That's going to be your best marketer right there. And every time you go on Walmart, you go down a line, slide her a little tip. Give her a little $10 or whatever. Now, ladies, do the same thing. When you go in there and you see that dude and his eyes like that, that's the one you want to give some cards to, give them a compliment, and keep it pushing. Now, when you go to Waffle House and that person ain't got no teeth that's cooking the food or waiting on you, those are the people that you want to hit. See, a lot of y'all are trying to go after people who are already here. They're not going to give y'all no attention. I'm telling you. They're not going to give y'all no attention. It's just like a man trying to holler at a, if it's five women. If you want a sure bet, all you got to do is holler at the ugliest woman in that bunch of five because she don't never get hollered at, so you go for that one. So what we have to do, we have to pick um, the misfits. We have to pick the people that nobody like. Like me growing up, my dad's African. So my name is Uchende Obadike Wandiwani. I always got picked on. My head was this big when I came out of my mama's womb. She said I was the only baby she ever seen born with nappy hair, with beady hair. So I always got picked on. No one liked me. I was the ugly duckling. Nobody liked me, all that type of stuff. So if someone gave me some attention, I was happy. So I wasn't like y'all. You know, I got called Kunta Kente, a Bubuka, African booty scratcher, uh, all Kunta Kente, all types of stuff. But those are the people that you want to go after, the people that were like me. Now, so now when you're out in public, everywhere you go, you want to compliment people. We all got something that's nice that we could compliment. We, we could go down the line and look at all types of people and find something nice on them. Something very nice. If they pull up in a nice car or just whatever it is, you could compliment them. 
on something nice, even going through the drive-thru. When you go through the drive-thru, compliment them, give them some cars, and then just keep going. And what's going to happen, you're going to start seeing business come to you. Everybody wondered how my barber school was in the hood, how I was making all that money to clean the floor. I didn't worry about NACAs. I wasn't worried about none of that, paying my bills or anything. Because my clinic floor was booming from using those tactics. And it wasn't no social media. Next thing, you want to hit the high schools. Every high school. Hit all the high schools. You want to go to the career days. Set up that table. Sit at the table. Give out them cards. Talk to them. You also want to establish a relationship with the guidance counselors at all of the high schools in your area. Hit every last one of them. Hit every Walmart. Hit, hit all of the stores, every dollar store. Hit them all. Every Waffle House. Hit them all. The daycare centers. Hit them all. Now, you also want to hit the junior highs. Well, they ain't ready to graduate, so they're not going to be coming to school. Look, they have a brother. They have a sister. Talk to the guidance counselors. You can get them for services. And what you want to do with the guidance counselors, when you get their relationship, let them know you want to give some free services to some of the underprivileged kids. My mama was a school teacher for over 30 years. She taught at some of the schools in the inner city where parents didn't even have money to get their haircuts. We would cut all them little kids' hair. The ones that couldn't get a haircut, didn't have money or whatever. Yes, tell some of those teachers, get them some of them free haircut cards and say, Miss Lewis, I know you probably have some little girls or some little guys that are underprivileged and kids may pick on them or whatever. But what I want to do, I own a, a beauty school or a barber college or a nail place or institution. I want to give some free service. I want to keep their haircut. And at my school, we did that a lot. My mama would even bring some of her students to the school who needed haircuts. And what's going to happen, y'all, when you do that, he's going to bless you. It's a biblical principle. If you're doing it from your heart, he's going to bless you beyond measure. You cannot beat God's giving. Now, when you contact the radio stations and the news place, the news stations, with the press releases. They're not going to showcase it every time, but if it's back to school or something special or whatever, they may, okay? So that's something that you want to do. Now, all of these are just guerrilla marketing. We hadn't talked about Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, the Facebook ads. I really don't want to go into that. I don't. Today, we're going to have to get off our behind. And you're going to have to start getting out in the community and passing out cards. Okay? Giving out free. You can't just be lazy. See, some of you all are lazy. You waiting on it to come to you. Nope, you gotta go get it. You, you, you got to go get it. I will hit everybody and give out those free services. All right. It's not, you're not giving out a free service. What you're doing, you're sewing, you're investing. That's what you're doing. Can you imagine if you gave out thousands of free services for a couple of months? That'll set you for the rest of your life. I had money to go through accreditation, had money to pay my bills every month, pay my bills at home, had money to go out, had money to pay Ms. Velma, all of that because of what I did in the beginning. So it's very important for you all. Y'all asking, well, how am I gonna get students? How am I gonna get customers? You're gonna outgive everybody. You're gonna outgive everybody and you're going to outwork everybody. That's what you're going to do. I don't care if you got to go get some 
some drunk people that's drunk or homeless people, you still want to practice on them and do their services. Do makeovers. Let the news people know you're going to do makeovers. Go to churches, let them know you're going to do makeovers. There are a lot of people that could use the services. And with COVID and the way that the economy is right now, there's no reason why your clinic floor should not be booming, should not be so busy. A lot of people don't know that you even exist because, yeah, you, you're trying to do this digital stuff. No, do the guerrilla marketing, do the old school way, and, that, and then it's going to come. Now, the next thing, when people are looking for a service, a school, a student, or whatever, potential student, they get on their cell phone. And what do they do? They Google. Some of you all do not have a Google business page set up. Some of you all have a Google business set up, but it's not set up correctly. So we're going to talk about that. And I'm going to share some stuff with you on that. It's very important that you have a Google business page. Very important. How much does it cost? It's free. It is free. If you have a school, y'all need to contact me. If you're not in a program, set that Google business page up. I'm going to show you. So basically, I want somebody in the chat to let me know what city you're in. Put the city and state right now in the chat. Whoever puts theirs in first, that's the example I'm going to do. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay. That was the first one, so I'm doing Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now, I have a question. If you were in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and you wanted to go to school, beauty school or whatever, you would get on your phone and what would you type in? What would you type in if you was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin? Put in the chat. What would you type in? Anybody, if you're anywhere and you want to go to school, what do you think a potential student is going to type in Google search? Cosmetology school in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Boom. Now I'm going to show y'all what popped up. Cosmetology School in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now, if we were in Milwaukee, we would not have to say in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, because Google will work in that area. Okay? So this is what would happen. Look what popped up. Now, can everybody see the screen? I need to make sure y'all can see this screen because I really want you all to get this. Can you all see the screen? Somebody give me a yes or whatever. All right, y'all can see the screen. Now, the first school that popped up, this right here, this is a paid ad because it says sponsored, okay? Anything that says sponsored, they paid to get there. We want to go on down. Sponsored, meaning they paid, okay? They paid. Now, what I want to show you, though, we're going to go on down. Now we're getting where it says more organic. These are organic. Okay. Now, so what we want to do, if we click on this, I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show you this right here, this sponsor one, the first one. Now, I want everybody to click on the very first one, that sponsored one. Why? Because they paid somebody thousands of dollars to set this up properly. But if we're going to do it for free. So when you click on there, guess what? You're going to put, what do we notice? We notice some nice photos. And we also notice a video. Look. <laughs> So what you want to do on your Google business page, that's free. 
You want to get a nice video and you want to get your best pictures, not just of services or whatever. We're trying to get students to come, get the best angles of the equipment, the classroom, and some services too, all right? Now, the next thing we want to do, make sure that your address is set up properly, okay? The next thing, put your hours in for each day. Look, if, if you look at this, look how they completely filled out their hours. See, a lot of y'all have do stuff. If you have set up your Google business page, it's not going to work to its optimized level. I learned that in a high-level mastermind. So it's very important that you all set this up correctly. And you'll know how to do it because you can copy this one. Notice how every single day they have, whether they open or close, is completely filled out. Tuition. They have their phone number. Notice how they filled out everything on here. Guess what else they did? Q&A. Let's go back. I want to show y'all something. All these questions. Ask a question. Now, one of the most important, they have their website. Look, if you click here, watch this. It goes to the website. They have a working website. So they put the link in there. Now, let's go back here because I want to share some more stuff with y'all that's very important. I'm going to stop this share. Once you set up your Google business page properly, I want you all to get the link from the Google business page. And I want you to give it to all of your family members, friends, every time you do a service, before they get out of their chair that you have them in, make sure they go to Google and give you a five-star review. The business that has, that is set up properly, and the, the business that has the most five-star reviews, they're going to automatically, organically rise to the top. Organically. See, Google, on an organic search, if you do that, you're going to beat everybody. And they're going to be wondering, darn, how is Cloud of Zandra, how they um appearing at the top? When I have my barber shops, in the city, they stay busy. And I never told nobody these little tricks and secrets, but I'm telling you all, because I want to see you all win. So let me share the screen again. Let me go back. Okay, now, watch this. Look at these five-star reviews. They got 211 reviews. I could go on here right now and write a review, okay? More Google reviews. You wanna get as many five-star reviews. If somebody's thinking about going to a restaurant to eat, they're gonna to look to see how many reviews. If, they, if it's a lot of five-star reviews, what are you gonna do? You probably gonna go there to eat. If you on Amazon thinking about buying something, and I see a lot of women doing this, they looking at the reviews. People look at reviews to see how many you had, who had the most. So that's very important. So I wanted to share that with you. Let's go back because I got a lot more I need to share with y'all. Now, see all these at the top? Look, they got all these reviews. Notice this one is down here. Why? It's got 184. These have more to reviews. Let's click on this one. Look how everything is filled out. Okay, let's look at um, the owl's operation. Look how everything is filled out. The pictures. Everything is done. But you, and let me look at this, y'all. They got 200 reviews, 184 reviews. This one is appearing up there, and they got 12. This one only got six. So what you all need to do, you definitely need to give that link. But don't tell them to do it. Make them do it while they're in the chair. Okay? All right. Yes, hair doc said tonight. So let's go back. 
So you, you know about the Google search. So I'm gonna give you all some homework. And your homework is to Google in your area, your city, and you wanna see who pops up first. And you wanna look at their page. You wanna make sure you fill out your Google business page. If you don't know how to fill out a Google business page, it's on YouTube for free. I mean, I, I can go right to YouTube and show y'all. I mean, I mean, it's very simple. You just type in how to uh, set up a Google business page. Really simple. Let me stop this because I want y'all to see this. It's very simple. Look, 11, 12 minute video. Google business profile set up. Step In by this step. Video, you're going to learn how to set up a Google business profile like this one. So you can attract customers who are looking for a business like you would on Google Search and Google Maps in 2023. To make this tutorial as simple as possible, I have organized it into chapters so that even if you don't watch all of it today, you can easily come back to it. Okay. Let me give y'all this link because some of y'all probably won't even do this. Copy here. There's a link to that. So you all have no excuse on why you're not attracting customers or students. It's probably because you have not got out in the community more. You have not done some of the things that we talked about today. Now, I'm not going to talk about no funnels, no job forms. No auto emails, no auto text messages. I'm not going to talk about no Facebook ads, Instagram ads, none of that stuff. What I share with you all today is something that each and every one of you all can implement and do. Okay? Each and every one of you all. So hopefully you all learn something tonight. Now, I know some of y'all are still thinking about uh, opening your school or joining the School Blueprint program, all y'all have to do is reach out, whether it's DM, um, the link is in the maybe in the bio, I don't know. But I just wanted to come on here tonight to share this with you all. So if you don't have students, if you don't have customers, nine times out of 10, is because you have not done what we talked about tonight. And I'm not going to say you lazy. Some of us didn't know, but it's time to get off our rear end and get busy. It's time for that. It's time for us to get busy. And I'm telling you, your competition, they're not going to, what we talked about today, your competition is not going to do it. They're not going to do it. And if you all have a handsome husband or a pretty wife, handsome boyfriend or pretty girlfriend, utilize them. Give them some cards. Tell them to pass them cards out. Spray that perfume on there. Spray that cologne on there and give it to them. Give them a free service. If you're an esthetician uh, like Amber and some of the other people on here, look, give it to that mechanic and let him come in there and get his facial. A woman probably ain't rubbed his face in over a decade. And he'll tell other people. And then it, he'll come back and get a facial just to get his face rubbed in a hot towel and all of that and to smell the perfume on you. So it's easy to get customers. I couldn't even cut hair, y'all. I could barely use a razor. I had plenty of customers. Why? Because I targeted the people that y'all didn't want to target. Target the people that get no attention, okay? That's who y'all need to target. Now, I don't know if y'all have any questions tonight. I had a really good time this week. I had Amber and Artez, they came. We had a great time. We went downtown, went to uh, Broadway. We, we stayed up on the rooftop. Um, we had a good time. We went out to dinner uh, and they're in the program. And I'm so glad that I got to meet them because a lot of y'all I meet on this right here, Instagram and all that, but I never got to touch you. 
never got to hug you. And we just had a really great time. So I encourage you all to make sure that you follow what we talked about tonight. And if you're thinking about getting to school, you don't need to keep thinking. It's time to go to the next level. Share your gifts and talents. There are a lot of school owners out here that have already let you know that you can do it because they have less gifts, less, less talent, less resources. So hopefully um, you all learned some stuff tonight. Um, we got about 15 minutes left, so Q&A. Um, um, I got to meet Amber this weekend, her and her husband, uh, Artez. And um, I've been talking to them, I don't know, it might have been almost a year now, but I finally got to meet them face to face. So uh, you want to talk, Amber? The floor is yours. Well, I just hopped on because we got carried away with family. So I'm not really sure what tonight's meeting was about. Uh, well, I heard the last um, bit that you said about um, students, attracting students. Uh, but what are we talking about? Just anything. <laughs> I, told I, could... Could... I told them I finally got to meet y'all face to face and we went on Broadway, on the rooftop, all the things we did. Yes. Um, so my husband's from Arkansas and we, he's busy right now with family. We're actually down here right now visiting family. So, um, I asked him if we could come visit you, which, you know, he was all game for too, but I would never have knowing you now wanted to come down here and not come to see you because you're just so inspirational, so motivating. And it was so great. Like you were saying to actually spend time and meet you and a lot of people I was telling you last night um have said on th these meetings that they have never actually um seen you in person or you've said you know you've never even seen them you've just talked to them so we've been following you for a year and you're just so helpful so great at answering all the questions um you've made this really seamless something I never thought that I could even do you've made it feel extremely possible and easy and uh coming to see you was so much fun chin took us downtown um something we've always wanted to do go to nashville and so i didn't even know if we'd actually go i was just wanting to come meet you and i thought oh maybe we'll just have dinner at his house and talk and um you made it even more fun so he showed us a great time and you're just so humble and so giving and so honest and anybody who's you know not experienced this firsthand should take him up on his offer because it was just really amazing to meet you and even more inspiring to see your place see your barbershop in your basement and the room that you're sitting in right now I was like oh this is the room <laughs> this is where the magic happens every week and it was just so fun and uh we're even more motivated and more inspired and we're just so thankful uh, for your generosity and Chins is the sweetest Sweetest woman, we had such a great time chatting with you guys. Well, we so um, I was really excited to hop on. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I was going to say I was really excited to learn about what you were talking about tonight because I think I got an email the other day and then I forgot to talk to you about it um, yesterday. But um, yeah, I'll I'll get caught up. All right. Well, I'm glad that y'all got to come. Uh, y'all got to come back. Um, my mom was asking about that today, like she asked about Savina <laughs> when they left. So um, we just had a really good time. And I ate that crab yes, cake, we did. that other one that you left this morning. I ate it today. <laughs> <laughs> I ate it in the car. I ate it in the uh, car on the ride and it was cold, but it was still good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jen took us to the nicest restaurant. What was that called? We went to Redlands. That's like a place everybody, yeah, they like that place, Redlands. Yeah, it was it was fancy, but it was also casual and it was delicious. Some amazing food in Tennessee. <laughs> and you had some plates. She had crab. She had about three <laughs> plates. <laughs> I know. I'm like, no, I, I don't need to get that. And he's like, try it. You should try it. I'm like, all right. So yeah, I tried a lot of yummy things. I was very full. <laughs> we slept really good. And his house is beautiful. Your house is so nice. Our room looked like a hotel room. The bed was very comfortable. And uh, yeah, everything was just so fun. You guys were just so gracious to take us in and, you know, just trusting, 
you know, even though we've been talking to you for so long, just trusting strangers the way that you do by just giving us your phone number, inviting us to your house. It's just another piece of what I think all of us love so much about you, just being able to um, feel really comfortable with you and really trusting with you walking us through the process. And our test was like, this is crazy. We're just going to his house. <laughs> I'm like, I know, but for some reason it doesn't feel crazy. It just feels like you're an old friend, you know, you're just an old soul and you're just so welcoming and honest. And I think everybody that's joined this program feels that and trusts you enough. So, but actually spending time with you was so great because you are, you're everything that we already thought and more. So yeah, thank you so much for your help and for inviting us. Everybody should go visit Chin. His house is amazing. Well, I thank y'all for coming and y'all got to come back. Yes, we will. Okay. I'm looking forward to thank it. Thank you. All right, thank Amber. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.